won't talk about it. I had a uh, uh, elementary school engaging uh, peace youth. Folklore, as we all know, is the embodiment of culture that is shared by a particular group of people, be it their values, traditions, beliefs, etc. In our current world filled with technological advancements, one may wonder why people should still consider the idea of appreciating folklore. However, what people often forget is that folklore forms an integral part of our culture and also has the power to transform an entire society, strengthen local communities, and forge a sense of identity and belonging for people of all ages. Hence, there is an urgent need for all of us here today, particularly the youth, to focus on utilizing folklore to build a strong, united, and great nation. A study by the United Nations shows that almost 60% of Africa's population is under the age of 25, making Africa the world's youngest continent. Thus, the youth dominate the African continent, and there is a need to leverage on the abilities and skills of these young, vibrant, and energetic people to spearhead the development process of our continent. Ladies and gentlemen, for instance, a mass presentation of youth involvement to address issues and concerns regarding heritage management, sustainable tourism, economic and social well-being in the perspective of sustainable development for generations to come. The youth can act as a bridge between cultures and serve as key agents in promoting peace and intercultural understanding. Ladies and gentlemen, heritage-related initiatives clearly demonstrate that culture is an indispensable driver and enabler of sustainable development since it provides testimonies to and links between the past and present. As the Deputy Minister of Tourism, Art and Culture, I believe investing in local cultural resources, particularly folklore, can enhance sustainability in the tourism and creative industries, open up opportunities for the youth, and help strengthen identities and social cohesion. Tourism in itself has a way of bringing individuals and human communities together to experience diverse cultures and civilization, making tourism play an important role in facilitating dialogues among cultures. Tourism also has the capacity to help people live better lives together, thereby contributing to the construction of peace in the minds of men and women. Fortunately, most tourist visits are influenced by the cultural endowments and natural heritage of a society. This in turn provides we Africans an upper hand to develop attractive tourism products from our folklore and culture to attract many tourist visits to our continent. We must therefore create awareness, educate, and train the youth as well as involve, as well as involve communities in the process of conserving and enhancing cultural heritage for, the sustain, for a sustainable tourism development. Again, the involvement of each and every one of us here today will enable the heritage of humanity to be better preserved, living conditions to be improved, and poverty reduced. Preserving cultural and natural heritage to bring it within reach of all, making cultures and civilizations better known, improving daily living conditions, and reducing poverty is what gives meaning to the sustainable sustainability of tourism development. The Ministry of Tourism, Art and Culture with the National Folklore Board and other cultural agencies are working hard to develop and implement tourism policies and activities which involves the participation of communities, particularly the youth, in the preservation and enhancement of the Ghanaian cultural heritage in the long term. This initiative, ladies and gentlemen, will create a strong relationship between tourism and culture to help Ghana become a competitive and attractive place to live, 
visit and make business investment and drive sustainability and development. Let us bear in mind that a flourishing cultural economy has the potential of improving the social and economic status of, country, of a country as well as positively contribute to the life of our communities. Someone's interested and involved in promoting and safeguarding our cultural heritage for national development? Yes. Good. I like this response. For your information, Ghana has signed to the Treaty of African Continental Free Trade Area. 55 countries, Ghana signed first. 55 countries have signed to this treaty. It's, it's going to give you, the young ones, the opportunity because 1.3 billion population is what we are getting throughout Africa. A big population to operate within. And with a GDP of 3.4 3 trillion US dollars. 60% of, our, of our, our population is youth. So if 60% is under 25 years and you're youth, and you're going to operate within 55 countries as young entrepreneurs coming up, with a GDP of 3.4 trillion cities, the most important thing for, here, for, for this here and now is that culture is the commonest we find within all these countries. If you go to any of the African countries, you will notice that our cultures are similar. Sometimes you cannot even identify whether the person comes from another country, but you look so close so similar, you look alike. And so if you have such a population and you are young, vibrant, very energetic, all I can tell you is that take advantage, advantage of the cultures that we have within Africa. It is your time. I only encourage you to go for it. On behalf of the team, I respectfully, humbly take permission from Nananum and all my seniors that I find behind me to call today's program launched.